Hey squad, welcome back. In my last video, I covered the amazing isotope ozone and I showed you how I use this for mastering my tracks. Now in this video, I'm going to be staying with isotope products and this time I'm going to be looking at Neutron, which again is a fantastic tool and I'm using more and more in my mixes. Now, if you've seen any of my older videos on music production, I've mentioned more than once about the power of Isotope products, in particular, a plugin called Alloy, which is now discontinued, but was the predecessor to Neutron. Even now, I still reach for Alloy, especially for my drum bus, but I'm using Neutron more and more, and I'm finding it to be a fantastic tool in getting my mixes up to scratch very quickly and sounding great. So let's have a quick look at what is actually included in the Neutron suite, as well as how I use it in my production and mix process. Now, don't forget, if you find value in these videos, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop me a comment and support me on my musical journey. You can check out my music on Spotify. Links will be below and you can make a donation at patreon.com. Again, links will be below. Anyway, it's that time. So let's get into it. Okay, so there are a number of ways in which we can use Neutron in a mix. I'll be demonstrating some of these methods today, but make sure you stay to the end of the video to hear the mixed version and mastered version of one of my tracks. First of all, let's have a quick look at the Neutron interface. Now, this is the default user interface. And of course, we've got an EQ at the top here. Just like in Ozone, which I showed you in my last video, you can come here and click on this and you can load up some more modules. And these are in a way independent audio processors, which you can plug into Neutron to create your processing chain. So let's stick a compressor there. We can put another one after that. And then we can put an exciter in. We can just shift things around. As you can see, each time I click on a module, there are some parameter controllers down here. So for the gate, you've got this control panel here transient shaper we've got this panel here let's just quickly go through the rest um, sculptor you've, the eq of course um, is very flexible with the exciter as well you can move this control around to adjust for the taste that you desire compressor wise and as well for all of these you've got some presets that you can start with so let's go back to compressor you've got like a preset for an acoustic guitar or a clean vocal all of these modules have got um, presets which you can pull up and then adjust from there. Up here, we have got overall presets for the entire Neutron unit. So let's say, for example, I was going to be working on um, an electric bass. So I come up to here, click on default and pull up the global preset menu, go to electric bass, and then I've got a whole range of electric bass options I can choose from. I can slap straight onto my bass guitar channel. These are tried and tested presets, okay? So they're a great starting point for you. So there are tons of options within the unit to actually get you started. And then each of these modules are very, very easy to control and to monitor the effect visually as well as via audio. Okay, so that's a really quick overview of Neutron. Now, like I said, there are tons of ways in which to use this. I can come to this snare track right here. Let's listen to my snare. Okay, now I can insert an instance of Neutron onto the channel strip for the snare. Open this up, and here's a default window. Now I can come over here quickly to the presets manager, and then I can go through to drums, look for individual drums, snares, open this up, and you've got all of these snare options. So let me go for added snare warmth. Okay, and you just go through the different presets, see which one appeals to you, sounds right in isolation as well as in the mix. And then you work with that, maybe you wanna add another module if you want to, but if it sounds right and it works within your mix, you're good to go. That's one thing I'd suggest to you about mixing, don't overthink stuff. If it feels right and it sounds right, it is right. Just keep the process moving. Now that's how you can use Neutron on an individual track. However, I can also use it on a bus. So I've got all of my drums going through to bus 10, the drum bus down here. I can do the same thing here, apply Neutron to the drum bus. And of course, I can build this up again from scratch myself if I know what I'm looking for, or maybe again, experiment 
with some of the presets. So if I come to drum bus right here, decide on what type of drum sounds I'm working with. Well, it's actually a combination of acoustic and electronic. So I'm going to use electronic and then apply a preset, maybe something like, I don't know, distorted groove. These are the modules, adjust to my taste and I'm gone. Okay, so really, really easy in terms of adding some real quick flavor and adjustment to your tracks. Okay, so those are the conventional ways in which I use Neutron, either on an individual instrument or vocal track or on a bus. However, Mix Assistant is something I've started to use more and more. And just like the Master Assistant in Ozone, Mix Assistant is absolutely phenomenal. Using artificial intelligence and machine learning to work out your mix, the results are absolutely astonishing. So if I was to click here, now there are a couple of ways of using Mix Assistant as well. You can use it on an individual track or across your entire mix. And I'm gonna show you both methods real quick. Now the first thing I need to point out is housekeeping. This is important. As you'd see from my previous videos, I always go through the process of color coding and naming and tagging all of my audio tracks just to make it clear to me what's actually playing on each track. For Mix Assistant, this is really important. Now, I would recommend you bounce down all of your MIDI parts as audio regions like using bounce in place or exporting the files. And then like here, get all of your tracks to sit at Unity Gain across the entire mixer. Next thing I'll do is use the key command, Command A, to select all, then insert an instance of Relay, which comes as part of Neutron, onto all of my tracks, like so. Now I'm gonna take it off the master output, so nothing there. Relay is like a bridge between the mixer in your door and Neutron, because now we're gonna come over here to again to the main output, and we're gonna insert the Neutron visual mixer right there. And we're also going to insert Neutron 3 as well. Now you won't need the visual mixer or the relay controller right now. The next thing we do is come to Mix Assistant, click on that, and I want to balance my overall mix. So I'm gonna click right here, click Next. Now this window gives you some information on what's actually gonna happen. Now. These are all of the tracks in my session, okay? And that's the reason I said it's important that you properly label all of your tracks so that they're, they're easy to identify. What we have to do is we need to select at least one track to be the main focus of the mix. So for this track, I'm going to select about three items which are gonna be a main focus. So I'm gonna select Vox, the vocal track, my main melody, which is this one, and I'm gonna select my lead just here. And then next thing we do is press begin listening. The next thing I'll do is move my playhead to the beginning of the song and start playing. And once I start playing the song, I need to play it from start all the way to the end. Neutron will then be analyzing all of the information on all of my tracks and trying to find the best balance between each sonic element to come up with a nice foundation for my mix. So what I'll do is hit play and have a listen through whilst Neutron does its thing. Now once the track has played all the way through to the end, you click this button down here, go to results for the next step. Okay, so after the analysis is done, you end up with this page and this here is a breakdown of all of your musical elements and all of these volume faders represent the different categories of sounds that Neutron has identified. So the focus three, which we selected were, would be controlled by this fader. Vocal elements will be controlled by this fader, bass by this one, percussion, drums, etc., and all other musical elements will be here. Now, Neutron is brilliant at working this stuff out. However, it does sometimes mess up the classification of sounds. So what you do is you come down here to edit classification. We go in and let's just make sure that everything is in its right place. Let's come down, the bass is in its right place. Basses are all in their right place. So my claps should be under percussion. So set that as percussion. And you just basically go through and anywhere there might have been a misclassification, 
you sort it out from here and once you're done you hit accept and now this is where the visual mixer comes into play so what i can do now is visually i can adjust the gain the volume let's say of the bass i can move this up and down in volume and this pad for example again i can adjust the volume i can adjust the pan position and mix this thing visually all based on the results that the mix assistant has already given me so really really useful in terms of getting your balance right so that's the levels and getting your pan positioning right of course you can then go back into the mix and do additional effects processing okay so we've covered a couple of ways in which neutron can be used but let me now show you how i actually use neutron more and more so here's a version of the mix of this song let's play it back from this section right here I've already done individual EQ and processing on different tracks, as you can see coming through here. All right, look at all these tracks, all of that processing. You can also see the drums are all going through to a bus. Across the drum bus, I've got an instance of Neutron. Uh, what I've done here is I've used a mix assistant to analyze the drums using the track enhance option. Hit next. I've then gone through here. You can let Neutron auto detect what instruments being played on the track or you can go through and select it yourself so of course i've selected drums i'm going for a warm style I'm going for medium intensity next i'll play back my drums and allow mix assistant to analyze the drums and add the life and energy these drums need i'll generally play the drums back from start to finish don't forget this is focusing on the drum bus so all of the drums are feeding into the bus once that is done we get these controls right here once that is done i choose sculptor make sure i select drums right here and then i use these controls to add additional flavor to my drums so it's really simple you add an instance of neutron to the drum bus all of your drums are going through to the bus you then use mix assistant to analyze the drums and get a nice mix of the drums after which you can go back in and sculpt the drums even further to your taste so i've done that on the drum bus i've also sent all of my roads and keyboards through to another bus so this right let's label this down here call that keys okay so once again same process used mix assistant like so track enhance this menu i've selected keys electric piano and i want those to be more upfront and medium intensity hit next it will do its analysis and then present me with these options in neutron which i can then further adjust also i've done the same for the baseline and i've followed the same process now remember i've got effects and processing already on many of these elements you will notice that i've got relay on some of my tracks but i don't have relay on the others i'm going to be using mix, mix assistant on the main output to do an overall balance of my entire mix so i need to make sure i don't send the certain elements through twice so for example my drums are going through to bus 10. so what i'll do is over here on the drum bus i've got relay and also the bass and keys go through to a bus and of course we have relay there we're not sending any of the auxiliary effects channels such as reverbs and so on through however all of the other elements the individual tracks will also have relay at the bottom of the chain okay this is important where you place this so if you imagine the processing starts from the top of the chain like here for example the signal works its way from the top all the way down and finally outputs to relay which then relays the signal across to neutron neutron in question is this right here of course this one at the top is the visual mixer and this one down here is neutron so let's open that up now what i'll do is once again use mix assistant like so because i'm sending the entire song with all of the elements through uh, for balancing i click on balance click next got it so now i need to make sure that certain elements are not coming through twice now what i need to do is go through and select the elements that i want to be in focus so vocals main melody and lead 
Next, begin listening. Now, I'll play back the track from the very top. Now, once that's done, I've got all of my category faders right here, which I can adjust while listening back to the track. I can also go back in here and make sure all of the classifications are done properly. Okay, just make go through and adjust those to make sure that they're sorted. Once I'm happy with that, I click accept and then we move to the visual mixer. Now, once I've accepted the balancing done by the mix assistant, I've come over to the visual mixer and I've moved some of the elements across the stereo spectrum, pushing some things to the left, some things to the right, adjusting volumes of different elements to taste, to further enhance the overall mix. Again, doing things visually all in this space, which is brilliant. This is what the track sounds like so far. Okay, so I'm happy with that so far. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Neutron and I'm going to come over here. Now remember, this instance of Neutron sits across the entire main mix. So I'm going to come down here to Mix Bus and I'm going to come down and choose Gentle and Clear. Yes, I'm liking that. Just a subtle enhancement. Don't forget, I'm not mastering yet. This is just trying to get the mix sounding right before I go to master. So I'm really happy with the outcome so far. I might take a break, come back, have a listen again. Any minor tweaks that need to be done, I'll do. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm not going to overthink this. So that's how I recommend you approach your mix. Think about using Mix, mix Assistant on your buses, okay? You can also use them on individual tracks and also across the main stereo out as I've demonstrated. Now, as you've seen from my stereo bus, in terms of metering, I've got tons of headroom, which leaves me plenty of space for mastering. So what I'm gonna do is apply an instance of ozone to the main bus right here, just like I've demonstrated in my previous video. And then we can compare the mixed version of the track to the mastered version. stuff i really do hope you found the video useful if you did drop me a line in the comment section like the video and subscribe to the channel this will really help me out now remember to support me at dospeeds.com as well as on my social media channels and finally switch on that notification bell so just like the rest of the mttc squad you'll find out as soon as my next video drops until next time i'm dr deuce peace